Bulldog was wrong about one thing. The night didn't end when the master died, but hunger's power died with him. Those he corrupted changed back to how they'd been before. At least that's why they t told each other. They'd never be the same again. None of us would. But we've seen something Union Jack thought was lost. Lost in us. Lost in him. Something we thought we would never see again. Not the sun, but something more powerful. When you least expect it, a glimmer of light in darkness, a glimmer of hope just enough to see us through to dawn. Quote, PC Mara, Seattle. Previously, around the globe, superhumans with a connection to the Dark Force dimension simultaneously lost control of their powers. The eruption blacked out the sun, creating an internal night, which has allowed vampires everywhere to launch a coordinated and brutal attack against humanity. Union Jack is attempting a one-man war on the vampire invasion, but needs more help than he's willing to admit. With his former teammate turned vampire bulldog, Joe is going to find a way to save him, even if he dies trying. Blood Hunt, Union Jack the Ripper, Volume 1, Issue 3. Union Jack's idea to use Bulldog as a bloodhound following the mental pull of the monster who turned him into a vampire. The plan wasn't so bad to find the big bad bloodsucker who slaughtered their companions in their land. Winston is chained and sniffing the odors of the person who turned him. At Manchester Town Hall, they're expecting an army of vampires, but all they have are Union Jack, Bulldog Winston, PC Mar Helen and Judy. They couldn't leave Judy behind because she's a kid and there are vampires on the prowl. Their friends have turned into vampires as suddenly more vampires start appearing. There are a lot of vampires, but what did you expect when going after the master? Union Jack lets Bulldog Winston go to take care of as many vampires as he can while Union Jack and PC Mara fire away. They are looking for a safe place for Judy and the master. The master's name is Hunger. Also also known as Loxak's Crown. His first appearance was in Peter Parker's Spider-Man Volume 1, Issue 75. The History of Loxak's Crown. Loxak's Crown was an agent of Hydra equipped with armor that manipulates a mysterious energy known as Dark Force. After killing the armor's creator, William Fields' crown took the staff and the student of Empire State University hostage to locate Fields. Notes on his armor's technology, but he was defeated by Spider-Man and shot. Crown next abducted Morbius, the living vampire, to perform experiments alongside Dr. Andrea Jansen for Don Fortunato. Crown threatened Peter Parker until Todd Fields, now known as Neil Aiken, surrendered teleporting the two used to his secret base. However, after Hammerhead killed his love and captured his three hostages, Crown took Hydra's airship to get revenge. He fought both Spider-Man and Shock and prepared to overload the later's armor to kill everyone, but Morbius attacked and drained him dry, disappearing in the process. Crown next lived in New York City sewers as a living vampire known as Hunger, an enforcer for Senator Stuart Ward. He abducted innocent civilians and the Morlocks leader, Callisto, to his lair beneath the streets. The Daily Bugle went to investigate, but Hunger knocked Parker out and took Betty Brant hostage. Spider-Man teamed up with Marrow to free the prisoners, much to Hunger's annoyance. Flash Thompson distracted Hunger, resulting in his defeat by Spider-Man and Marrow, but he escaped in energy form. Hunter later attacked a clandestine meeting between the Kingpin and the Magia, turning a number of gangsters into his own small army of living vampires. Blade and Spider-Man track Hunger down to an abandoned Roxanne plant, fighting the two superheroes until he fled after his horde's deaths. Hunger says, Safe Ripper, is that what you're going to say? The Ripper is shocked to see Hunger, but it somewhat makes sense. Having mastered the Dark Force and being a vampire, Hunger had fought Blade before on the other side, but Union Jack knows Hunger. He's trouble for him and his companions. Union Jack says, forget everything. Forget the plan. Just run. He continues. He calls himself Hunger and he's a bloody nightmare. The more vamp he sears, the stronger he gets and I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a lot of vampires out there. PC Mara responds, I don't know Jack. He doesn't seem all that to me. Couldn't even control Bulldog of all people. Just as PC Mara questions Hunger's powers and his control over the vampire he seared, Winston the Bulldog joins the forces of the vampires with Alan and scratches PC Mara on 
on her back. Helen is in disbelief at how Bulldog turned just like Alan. She says she should have shot him before and will not let him hurt Judy. Helen then takes a weapon to Alan's head. Now the battle heats up as Union Jack fires round after round at Hunger. Union Jack tries to make a deal, but Hunger wants no part of it. Hunger then strikes the gun away from Union Jack, but Union Jack thrusts a sword into Hunger's chest, which does nothing. Hunger then takes his long nails and plunges them into Union Jack. PC, Mara is horrified for Joe as the bulldog stands right behind her. Alan takes a bite out of Helen, while Union Jack appears lifeless with Hunger's claws through him. Hunger says, yes, Joe, poor deluded Joe, clinging to a world that no longer exists. Those puppets out there, was that what you called them? They were just waiting for someone to set them free, free to say what they want, to do what they want. Like Winston, even after we took his eyes, do you really think your rousing words touched his wretched heart? Brought the poor brute to his senses? He played you, Ripper. We played you from the shadows into our present. Was Winston the bulldog really playing Union Jack? Did he bring the whole team here for slaughter? Union Jack's eyes are wide open with shock. Hunger says, right where we want you to be. Meanwhile, PC Mara fights off Winston the bulldog, managing avoid being bitten and turned. Desperately, she fires as many bulls as she can to try to get Hunger off Union Jack. The battle intensifies as PC Mara declares, but you don't always get what you want, Hunger. Union Jack knows the bullets will have little effect, only making Hunger angrier. He begs Mara, don't, as Hunger slices PC Mara, Alan, and they turn Helen, hold down Union Jack. Union Jack reflects, yeah, guess you have Helen. Guess it was too good to be true, that old blitz spirit working together, despite our differences, despite our odds, just the good old days. He recalls how he and Winston, the bulldog, never got along, but were always on the same page. Winston and the bulldog, looking remorseful, says, sorry, Joe. Winston, the bulldog, takes a bite out of Union Jack, making his transformation to a vampire. As Union Jack struggles, the realization hits. Could it be that Winston sought revenge all along? This shocking turn of events reveals deep betrayal and the possibility that Winston's actions were driven by a long-held desire for vengeance. Union Jack hits the floor and PC Mara's in shock. She curses at the bulldog, yelling about how they trusted him. But the bulldog has plans of his own. He forces PC Mara to shoot him. Bulldog says, Mara, you don't get it. As the bullet hits his hands, the same pain the Bulldog feels, hunger also feels. PC Mara rushes to check on Joe now, turning. While Helen lurks behind her, Helen slaps PC Mara and Alan surrounds her, leading to a brutal beatdown. Helen, looking concerned, watches as Mara fights to protect Judy, who doesn't understand that their friends have turned into vampires. Judy insists, they won't kill me. They're my friends. And even if they try, Union Jack will stop them. However, the problem is that Union Jack has also been turned. Despite being a vampire, Union Jack remains mentally unbound by Hunger due to his connection with the Knights of the Pendragon. Hunger is in disbelief and exclaims, No, this cannot be. You are ours. You belong to us. Union Jack, now a vampire with the combined powers of his former self and his new vampiric ability, defies Hunger's control. You say I belong to you. Don't think so, he retorts. The only one getting owned tonight, your majesty is you. Hunger responds with disdain as if you can stop us. We can feel your thoughts, but you cannot touch ours. Flesh of our flesh, blood of our blood. Union Jack leaps forward to strike Hunger, but is caught in a vampire lord's grasp. Despite his efforts to stab Hunger in the head, the bulldog, watching intently, remains a silent witness to this fierce struggle. The bulldog Winston reveals a crucial truth as he speaks through gritted teeth. His voice filled with a mix of pain and determination. Blood of our blood he says, I felt it. The boss hunger every time we got it. My hand, Ellen, and the pretty boy even told Eddie about it, about the pain Joe caused. It's how we win, how we bring the light. He turns to Union Jack, who remains gripped by hunger. I'm not going to hurt the kid, you muppet. I need you to hurt me. The way to defeat hunger is to hurt and kill the vampires he's turned. Hurt me, and you hurt him. Try to give Jack a chance by making him like us. It only made it worse. Always makes it worse. This way I make it better. Make it better for me. 
with his words, Winston sacrifices himself, intending to weaken Hunter by inflicting pain upon himself, giving Union Jack a fighting chance to bring down the Vampire Lord and end the terror. The Knights of the Pendragon had also prevented Winston the Bulldog from being fully controlled by hunger. PC Mara takes a gun and shoots Winston in the head. This planned move creates an opening to strike at hunger. Overwhelmed by the immense pain from his connection to Winston, hunger is momentarily distracted. PC Mara yells, Do it now, Joe, while hunger is vulnerable. With the opening provided by Winston, the Bulldog, and PC Mara's instructions, Union Jack seizes the moment. He delivers a decisive strike to hunger's head, causing him to leak out various demonic entities. The power that surged from hunger was drawn from all the vampiric disciples, and the death of a significant disciple like Winston left hunger exposed and vulnerable. PC Mara concurs. Bulldog was wrong about one thing. The night in him and the master died but hunger's power died with him those he corrupted changed back to who they were before or at least that's what they told each other hunger has been defeated and the people he had turned have reverted back to humans pc marrow continues they never be the same again none of us would be we've seen something union jack thought was lost lost in us lost in him something we thought we would never see again not the sun but something more powerful when you least expected a glimmer of light in the darkness a glimmer of hope just enough to see us through the dawn union jack kneeled down head down looks at winston the bulldog he sacrificed himself so the team could beat hunger this victory did not bring back the sun but it gave the people of manchester of the united kingdom a glimmer of hope next blood hunt volume one issue five